Good morning, New Carlisle Elementary School. This is Bria, McKinley, and Aiden. The other Aiden is behind the camera, and Cameron is operating the computer. We are recording from New Carlisle Elementary School. Here are your morning announcements. Today's day is Friday, February 28th, and it is B-Day. For lunch today, we are having lasagna roll-up, tossed salad, applesauce cup, and milk. Sadly, there are no birthdays today, but happy birthday on Sunday to Kaylee J. Enjoy your birthday. Woo! Now for today's weather. The current temperature will be 19 the current temperature is 19 degrees, but it feels like 9. Today will be partly sunny and chilly. The high today will be 31 degrees. Tomorrow will be mostly cloudy with a high of 34. The temperatures will be ri rising to the mid 50s on Sunday. Here are a few special announcements. There is an Arrows Ambassadors meeting during lunch. Come get your lunch and come to the office during your regular lunch time. Now a word from Ms. Randenburg. Good morning, everyone. I hope you enjoyed your day yesterday. And even last night, we had some beautiful, huge snowflakes. Hope you got to see those, maybe ran around, tried to catch them on your tongue. Who knows? All right, today is Friday. We're going to make it a fantastic day. So a few reminders um, that I had mentioned last or, or earlier this week. We've got FFA week going on right now. So if you are interested in doing the coloring contest, these are in the office. You need to make sure to put your name and date and teacher's name on this form and get it turned back into the office. They will be judging that um, later next week, so you still have time. Also, just a reminder for teachers, um, if you need any help with um, getting on the homework room calendar, let me know. Also, we have inspections on Monday, Monday morning at 9.30, so make sure to see a custodian if you need any help with anything there. Um, we still have Get Up and Go and our Title I night, so if you are interested in doing those things, please get those forms turned back in. Um, I did want to mention today our R Factor, um, this group is committed to excellence. Um, we only have two people that showed up today, so we'll try to get those other folks down here um, Monday, Monday morning. Um, the others are, just so that if they are in your room, you can try to run them down real fast or remember them, make a list for Monday morning. It was Nick D, Micah W, Manny L, Sammy F, Maria Z, and if you if you are in your room right now sprint on down to the announcement room room 109 we're not, live. we're not live so forget that don't send them to the office or to the to the announcement room my mistake we will catch those kiddos if one of those kiddos is yours send them down monday morning make a list let them know so our first person come on over make sure you Here we go, gotta get her head in the scene there. There we go. Tell us your name and who nominated you. My name is Ellie and Mrs. Green nominated me. Very nice job. Thanks for being committed to excellence. And we've got one more, so if we can switch back over to the news team. One of our members of our news team, tell us your name and tell us who nominated you. Hi, I'm McKinley and Miss Skinner nominated me. Very nice job, here you go, congratulations. Now I wanted to talk, I've had a lot of talk going on about bullying, so I'm going to read this to you today. Um, have you ever been bullied? Bullying can include name calling, being made fun of, being pushed or shoved, or other mean-spirited actions. Again, and it's not one time, it's when it's happening over and over and over again by the same person. I'm going to just interject here, because if it's happening one time, turn around to that kiddo and say, stop doing this to me, I don't like it. Let them know how you feel. But if it is a continual thing, what can we do to make sure our school is a safe and caring place for students? Well, we can remember that bullying can be very hurtful and can hurt others for a long time, not just the moment that it happens. Some people never forget the times that they've been bullied. An American, or a great American writer named Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, you cannot do a kindness too soon for you never know how soon will be too late. It's never too soon to show kindness to others. Today, please do your part to create a more caring school by doing two simple things. Don't stand up for bully, or don't stand for bullying, stand up for, bull, for the bullied student, and look for ways to be kind to others. And when I read that, that made me think of our R Factor 
culture playbook, right there in the first section, be a great arrow, it says being kind, showing empathy. Those are ways that we can help others. With something to think about, this is Mrs. Randenburg. Have a great day and back over to the news. Thank you for joining us on this final February Friday. Please join us to the Pledge to our flag in the New Carolina School Board. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today is a new day. I am the best student I can be. I do my best schoolwork. I respect others. I play fairly. I am proud of all I do and say.